the collective punishment of Palestinian civilians through the unlawful use of force by Israel is a war crime. In a recent speech, the president of South Africa issued a warning to Israel, urging them to implement an immediate ceasefire or face consequences. Let us watch him address the press about this issue. Since the 7th of October, when more than 1,200 people were killed in an attack by Hamas on Israel, the world has borne witness to the devastating killing of thousands of innocent people in Gaza, many of whom are women and children. Over 11,000 residents of Gaza have been killed. Many thousands more have been injured. Infrastructure such as hospitals, roads, homes, and other public facilities have been destroyed. We are told that more than half of Gaza's population has been displaced. Our thoughts and prayers are with all those who have been affected by this violence in Israel Gaza and the West Bank. The actions by Israel are in clear violation of international law, including the UN Charter and the Geneva Convention. In its attacks on civilians by taking hostages, Hamas has also violated international law and must be held accountable for these actions. The collective punishment of Palestinian civilians through the unlawful use of force by Israel is a war crime. The deliberate denial of medicine, fuel, food and water to the residents of Gaza is tantamount to genocide. The atrocities that we have witnessed are the latest chapter in a painful history of suffering, oppression, occupation, and conflict going back more than 75 years. The root cause of all this conflict is the illegal occupation of Palestine territory by Israel as reflected in the UN Security Council Resolution 2334, which states that Israeli settlements constitute a flagrant violation under international law. We therefore urge the international community to agree on urgent and concrete actions to end the suffering in Gaza and to establish a path towards a just and peaceful resolution in this conflict. As South Africa, we call for, first, an immediate and comprehensive ceasefire. Second, the opening of humanitarian corridors so that aid and other basic services such as food and medicines can reach those in need. Third, all countries to exercise restraint and to refrain from fueling this conflict and making it worse, including by seizing the supply of weapons to the parties. Fourth, that the, those who are being held as hostages, civilians, should be released. Fifth, the resumption of a comprehensive dialogue led and owned by Palestinians and Israelis themselves and facilitated by the United Nations. And sixth, the deployment of the UN Rapid Deployment Force in Palestine with a mandate to monitor the cessation of hostilities. And lastly, uh, the International Criminal Court should urgently initiate investigations.
against those who have perpetrated war crimes. As South Africans, we appreciate the importance and value of international solidarity and as an important voice of the global South, representing a large portion of humanity, we believe that BRICS has a vital role and a voice in a widespread international effort to achieve a just and lasting peace. As individual countries, we have demonstrated our concern at the death and destruction that's taking place right now in Gaza. Let this meeting stand as a clarion call for us to combine our efforts and to strengthen our actions to bring this historical injustice to an end. I'd like to propose that we all work together to realize a just, peaceful, and secure future for the people of both Palestine and Israel. 